Electric vehicle fire catastrophe. It's not a matter of if, but when. So we're going to read this uh, by my man Greg Whitestone, who I follow on LinkedIn. And I also have his app on my phone called Inconvenient Facts. Uh, carbon dioxide is not the primary greenhouse gas is number one. If you did not know that, then uh, we got a lot of problems. <laughs> not even close. CO2 is not even close to number one GHG. All right. Anyway, uh, Sniffy Joe's plan to convert 50% of the U.S. vehicle from ICE's engines, internal combustion engines, to electricity by 2050 to fight climate change ignores a serious danger. Recent events around the world reveal that fire catastrophes in electric vehicles are not only possible, but are becoming more likely. The fire risk of the lithium-ion battery that these EVs rely on for power is well documented, as they've been known to spontaneously combust the most inopportune time and places. Uh, GM just announced this week, announced a second recall of all Bolt EVs and EUVs manufactured from 2019 through 2022 in order to fix a defective lithium ion battery that has led to fires. Uh, GM announces just the latest in a string of recalls by EV manufacturers attempting to fix defects that can lead to catastrophic fires on lithium ion batteries. Um, ICE engines uh, can also catch fire, but those tend to uh, be during accidents or while driving, not sitting passively in a home or a parked garage, as can occur with electric vehicles. In addition, fire crews can extinguish a gasoline or diesel-powered vehicle fire, but not so with EVs. EVs are nearly impossible to extinguish with water and need to be normally be allowed to just burn out, which could take hours. Last year, a California couple woke to a blaring car alarm in a burning home. The blazes started in one of the two Tesla S vehicles in the garage and spread to the other. If we had lived upstairs in the house, we'd be dead, says Yogi Vindham, a retired mechanical engineer. According to him, gasoline-driven cars don't catch fire in the garage when they're just sitting there. And that's the difference. I wonder if he's buying another uh, electric vehicle. I don't know. The culprit in nearly, in nearly e, all EV fires is the lithium-ion batteries that power them and which burn with extraordinarily ferocity. Adding to the fires and the heat danger posed by these events is extreme toxicity of, the toxicity of the fumes generated. According to one study, these fumes may in some circumstances be a larger threat than the fire itself, especially in confined environments where people are present. Battery fires are not limited to passenger cars. Right here, you got a fire at the bus depot. I think that was in Germany, was it not? Look at that. That is, you don't want to be stuck in that. You certainly don't want to be able to have that parked in your house. Um, at a fire bus de depot in Hanover, Germany, caused millions of euros in damage. Five e-buses and four other vehicles were destroyed, along with the building and the charging stations. In the Chinese city of Base, four electric buses went up in flames after one had ignited. Large lithium batteries use as backup power supplies to, to wind turbines and solar panels to combust it as well. Fire crews took more than three days to extinguish a blaze at the 13-ton Tesla Big Battery in Victoria, Australia. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago. Because ordinary fire suppression methods could not be used on the 300 megawatt power source, crews had to let the blaze burn itself out as authorities monitored air quality. A truly nightmare scenario is one in which the EV fire occurs in an underground parking garage beneath an apartment complex or a crowded office building. Exactly. With the toxic fumes generated, how would the local fire department be able to respond to a fire that not could be extinguished, even if they could get to it? We should be forward-thinking in prevention of a looming tragedy and consider what two towns in Bavaria did after the horrific German bus station inferno. They com completely banned all EV EVs from parking in underground garages. EVs may one day be safe enough to assume no fire risk, but that day is yet to come. 100% right, man. I, uh, dirty secrets of clean electric vehicles. Let's see what kind of comments we got. The green block. In fact, I wonder, I wonder, did they have, an, remember that Miami place? Huh. What caused that fire? Do we know? I have no, I have no clue. Just speculating. Could have been due to a doo -doo 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 -doo. lithium ion battery parked under the garage. Hmm. Uh, as the immediate goal of virtue signaling, not a practical engineering solution, this will make no change in their attitudes towards uh, electric vehicles. Yeah, what I'm saying. Sad man. EV fire less known risk. During an electric fire, over 100 organic chemicals are generated, including some incredibly toxic gases such as carbon monoxide and hydrocyanide, both of which are fatal to humans. The UK government, as part of the Road Safety Guide, has published details of what you need to know. Oy, oy, oy. Well, thanks, Boris Johnson. Yeah. Okay, they go kiss my Boris Johnson, Scott Morrison, 
the freaking clown up in uh, not Trudeau because he's a lefty. We expect lefty Nazis. We don't expect righty Nazis. But Boris Johnson, Scott Morrison, the guy Jason Kenney running against Trudeau, they can all kiss my big fat behind because they're all on this green crap. It's not sorry to see it.